hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Today I wanted to talk to you about some small step that you can do to bring life to your damaged hair and I'll just give you a few tips as to what you can do to restore your hair if it's dull, frizzy. Uh, hopefully this will help you um, bring that life into your hair. The first and the most important tip is go easy on the lightener. Um, I, I have used it as well. I saw my cousin using it, my sister using it. It turned our hair like straw. Um, I used it to get ombre um, hair color or balayage, but it is really not good for your hair. So because the lightener damages your hair, it like it causes immense damage to your hair. And this is a fact. And it because and this happens because it strips your hair of all the moisture. So if your hair is damaged from too much lightning, stay away from it and it will help you bring back life into your hair. So the next step will be get regular trims. Split, split ends are very common. I get it after every few months I see split ends. But if you don't trim them regularly, these breakage will travel upwards, causing your hair to snap and become frazzled. Getting regular trims is the best to protect your uh, damaged hair. Um, I have seen that happen. I uh, After I was initially got diagnosed with androgenic alopecia, I didn't want to touch my hair at all because I wanted to protect whatever was left. But it kept breaking. So I just went to the hair salon and did um, quick, you know, just cut, cut off the damaged part. And I, my hair didn't grow for a while. But slowly, eventually, with taking care of my hair, it it helped bring life into it, and it started growing again. Also, um, next one is use nourishing hair mask. I spoke to you about um, one of the uh, treatment I do before um, before shower. But it has helped me a lot to stop my hair from falling fast. And it, it started working really well. Now, hair mask will also bring life into your hair. It will make it soft, manageable. So when you have damaged hair, hair mask will be your best friend. There are different types of hair masks designed for different uh, types and concerns and if your hair is damaged you should use a moisturizing mask once or twice a week um, because I have done that I have used I used to go to hair salon every, once a month um, beside the ones I did at home to do an Olaplex hair mask so and it, I saw a big difference, especially um, on top of doing my regimens, that helped too, at least to bring life into my damaged alopecia hair. Now the next step I'll tell you is wash your hair less frequently, because um, if you want to damage, protect or repair damaged hair you have to stop over washing it because washing it too frequently will strip your hair of natural oils and depending on your hair type wash it um, less with lukewarm water it will it will restore its moisture and bring more shine to it i uh, wash my hair once a week and this um, was recommended by hair salon experts even my doctor told me just use it less often because i have a more um drier hair. and i would say 
be gentle with your hair when it's wet because it's more pr uh, vulnerable and prone to breakage breakage when it's wet um, so instead of uh, drying roughly drying your hair with a towel just gently blot it I tend to um, wait until my hair is at least halfway or at least one third to halfway dry before I brush it and I use a white um, comb uh, those white tooth comb and I start from the middle and uh, from the end and go upward so that it will slowly take care of the uh, tangles and I use a detangler leave-in conditioner as well so it so that it can uh, have less pull on my hair and stop it from breaking and um, also lower the temperature of your styling t tools and because we all are guilty of using heat to straighteners or blow dryer but using heat can cause irreversible damage which means you cannot fix it and you shouldn't use any heat ideally in your hair but if there's not an option try lowering the heat using the and I using a heat protected strain I am um, very careful I tend to use a Dyson like cool air um, blow dryer if I have to to dry my hair and if I am using very rare occasions like big occasions I straighten my hair and I do it after using a lot of heat after using heat protectants so I try to the treatment I told you it keeps my hair straight it's a little bit wavy but I'm okay with that um, so be careful about heat using heat if you absolutely have to use it use a heat protectant and set it to the lowest temperature so the next thing I would say is use sulfate free shampoo because a sulfate free shampoo is um, will help maintain the natural oils in both your hair and scalp which means that the moisture event uh, re moisture levels will remain high so use sulfate free i use a paraben free sulfate free shampoo and when you're out in the sun protect your hair because the uv rays combined and if you're in the beach the uv rays compared with the combined with the salt water and chlorine is a recipe for disaster basically and it will make your hair frazzled and brittle so prevent this you wear a swim cap when you're in the water and wear a white brim hat when exposed to direct sunlight because uh, just like the UV rays are not good for your skin it's not good for your hair either and the last uh, tip I will give you is there's a lot of natural ingredients I spoke to you about some of them that help repair damaged hair and and all of them, many of those ingredients are in our kitchen as I explained to you in previous videos use this depending on your hair use DIY mask uh, to protect your hair and at the same time repair damage on my next video, I will talk to you more about natural, some of the natural masks that you can use that will help with hair growth. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked what I shared and if you like my uh, videos, please like, share, and comment, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon so whenever I post a new video, you'll get a notification. So I hope you, it, this is helpful. Until next time, take care and bye. Happy viewing.